Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, the faction tournament poll is in. We've made a decision. Uh, I'm a little bit, sh not shocked. I'm a little bit surprised by the decision, but we'll go with it. And I'm going to go through on this video and give you some suggestions around teams. I guess comment below, would you like me to build out some teams before the events go live and actually show them in some detail, like different slots, that type of stuff. Let me know if it's something you're interested in. Or maybe you're just kind of like, you know what? The tournaments I don't really care about. <laughs> I'd like to know because I don't want to put a load of work in and then you're like, nah. Uh, anyway, let's go through it. So faction tournament polls, we basically got to decide which factions we were going to use for different events. Um, and the schedule is going to look like this. On November the 10th, it's a Sunday through to the 13th. Um, sorry, Thursday to Sunday. You're going to be able to earn points in Fire Knights using champions from Demon Spawn. This one I'm a little bit surprised by. I'm guessing it's mainly because of a law. People are like steered towards a law and therefore they went Fire Knights with Demon Spawn. Second one up is going to be Spiders, like straight after it, uh, using Dark Elves. Next one up is going to be Dragon using Night Revs. And then the last one for the dungeons is going to be Ice Golems using the Undeads. I hope, Raid, if you're watching this video, I doubt you are, please do something different for the rewards. Yeah, you're asking people to build teams, which should be a fun thing to do. I don't mind that. Using certain factions, it's harder to do. Make sure the rewards make up for the effort that people are going to go to for this. Make sure people are kind of like, damn, I want to get involved in that. Yeah, not just like Epic Tome is the best thing. You know, it, it, it's, it's boring. It's boring if you just put the same stuff all the time. Make it a sexy one. Anyway, at the end here, it says, in addition to all of this, we're going to be running a special tournament focused on Classic Arena uh, from the 11th through to the 17th. So basically for the full, near enough the full week. You'll win Classic Arena battles, blah, blah, blah. You get points. But you have to use champions from the Corrupted Alliance, which are all these factions. Um, if you come first, you'll get the heroic Necrobia skin for Coldheart. So let's have a quick look at that skin as well. Which one was that? Is this the one I've already got? No, I've got the flaming one. So if you win that tournament, you can get a cold heart skin. Looks like this, uh, which is quite cool. I think as a, a reward, you know, for Classic Arena, anyone can blast their way through Classic Arena if they've got the right time, uh, type of team set up. But it's specifically going to have to use champions from the Corrupted Alliance. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a ton of Arena champions in the Corrupted Alliance. We've got Kaimars, we've got Hefrax, we've got Candies. We've got Duchesses, Mortus, like Withies. There is Magna. There's a lot of options, yeah, in terms of this is just one faction. Rotus, Seafy, Necret. <laughs> like, there's a lot. Mashold. You really should be able to. Dark Elhane, everybody, Bogoth, should be able to get themselves an arena team together for this. Yeah, anyone in here that we'd call out? Ruel, potentially. Mithrala is awesome. Uh, Eva, anyone use Eva for anything? Uh, Lydia in the mix if you've got her already. So, Madame, yeah, we've got a lot of champions to choose from. And in the Night Revs, you've got people like Hedgy, uh, Fortus, no, uh, useless champion, uh, pretty much. Gaius could do some funky stuff with Gaius alongside uh, Soul Drinkers, you know, like blowing up uh, themselves. So, yeah, I think I feel like there's a lot of options for Arena Team. You shouldn't struggle with that. But let's get to the different factions then for the tournaments. So you guys have picked Demon Spawn for Fire Knights. I feel like this is a tough pick. Like, to, once you get to the boss, a law is going to do all the work if you've got a law at keeping the turn meter down on the boss. Yeah, but we don't really have an easy way to destroy the waves. I guess Felhound could be good as well for the boss for lower level stuff. But we don't have an easy way to destroy the waves at a high level. I feel like you're going to have to bring in a drop defense champion and probably come in with high power nukes to get through these waves. Now, maybe people like Hefrat, if you've got Hefrat or Candy, to try and blow up the waves. Or you bring it down a notch and don't go for level 24, 25. You're actually fighting 20, in which case it's a lot easier. But yeah, I feel like, I don't know, maybe Sakia, if you've got Sakia, she would be good to blow up waves. I do feel like it's quite a tough one to be beat the waves. Not necessarily the boss, but 
yeah, I feel like people were blindsided and went, a law, because the law's so good. But then probably didn't really consider that the waves are actually quite tough to beat up. It might be that we need to do stuff like crowd control the waves with Achaks, Umbrals, uh, whilst we get the work done, maybe with kind of burners or something like that. But this will be an interesting one to try and build teams out with to, to see who can do it quick. I would have reversed the two. I would have actually gone Demon Spawn for Spider, and I would have picked Dark Elves for uh, Finite for me. But anyway, we've got Dark Elves coming in against Spider. It's actually, I mean, it's not a bad pick. Uh, you know, you've got yourself champions like Cold Heart in the mix here. So she can do work. Actually, Paragon, you can Paragon Cheese Spider, um, which is quite fun to do. You've got plenty of options for drop defense and weakening the squad. So loads of options with that. But yeah, we don't have any HP burners in this faction. So I guess you're either going to drop down below level 25, coming down to 20, in which case you could do something like a Dark Kale, Xavier type of combo in terms of just you know, doing a, a lot of work really quickly. Uh, but yeah, for me, the two factions are, are the wrong way around. I feel like Dark Elves easily beats up Fire Knight and Demon Spawn easily beats up Spider. I think they're harder the other way around for me. Anyway, let's have a look at the next one. Dragon would be through Night Revs. Not, um, I mean, Dragon's quite easy to beat up anyway, but when you've got Teodor and Kalvalax in a faction, Tomb Lord in a faction, should be very easy to beat up Dragon if you've got any of those type of champs. Uh, if we're looking at sort of lower down, we do have Renegade as a kind of reset for blowing up waves. So it might be that you just come with sort of full damage for blowing up waves, and then you hopefully have got one of the champions that got a decent amount of poison running through it for the boss. Or you'd have to bring people in like Toxic Gear, I guess, to, to get the Dragon down. Or just straight nukes, really. But Dragon's one of the easier ones to beat up anyway, as long as you've got a fairly rounded team. Uh, but then the last one is Ice Golem, which I think this was a good, good shout. With Ice Golem, you've got champions like Bad L that can solo it. Um, and you've also got champions like Frozen Banshee that can solo the boss very easily if you can get through the waves with any sort of decent damage. Dark El Hain is also a good kind of counter to the freezes that are coming in. So I feel like you know, Vogoth's a good tank to, to get you through the, the kind of final boss fight. So yeah, I feel like there's a, a lot of good options here. But if you've got Bad El, um, pretty much solos it. So yeah, so this one's not a bad shout as well. But, uh, but there you go. Look, if you do want to see me actually create some teams for this stuff, let me know. But yeah. I, I would have gone a different way, but fair play. Uh, let's get the job done. I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you later.